So what will be a good environmentally friendly fly trap that you can set up abusing the surface tension properties of water is that you can use a glass, a cup, or whatever and put some um, apple cider or uh, vinegar some kind of vinegar that is sour apple vinegar, apple cider, apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar, whatever so it has to be sour and smelly so that you attract flies to it but then the trick is that you add one or two drops, a few drops of a soap either dishwashing detergent or hand washing soap, doesn't matter one or two drops in this case, when flies are being attracted to the sour taste of your apple cider, apple vinegar then you will think, that, okay, I'll land on the surface and then drink the apple cider but they don't know that, oh, when you added the, after you added the um, detergent or soap to it, it lower, it decreased the surface tension of water, so that when they land on it, they will just like you, trying to stand on the water, they will actually sink down to the bottom, and you will drown the fly, or you will drown the fly. You will see them, you can laugh at their stupid body at that time, yeah, you will see that, oh, they want to go in, and then they all sink just like human being. Now frozen water. Frozen water is less dense than liquid water. So remember, um, the freezing point of water is 4 degrees Celsius. It is the densest. That means the water molecule, they come the closest together. But as it gets lower than 4 degrees Celsius, water actually expands and form a crystal lattice. Why? because of the hydrogen bond the hydrogen bond it forms um, so the hydrogen bond it forms in here you know the hydrogen bond that we form here it will also maximize the separation of the water molecule because of the hydrogen bond here that maximizes the separation of the water molecule, that's why water will expand after it freezes. When water expands after it forms ice, what will happen? It makes the density of the water less than the liquid of the water, meaning that the, there you have more empty spaces in between water molecules in the ice, and you have less empty spaces in the water, water molecule in liquid water. And that explains why ice flows on the liquid water because it is less dense. It is very important because uh, it allow um, it allow uh, living organisms like fishes they survive in cold winter at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the frozen lake. So if the lake is uh, frozen, then you have the ice on top. You only have the ice on top and you have water at the bottom then the living organism, the, all the fishes can still survive at the bottom during winter so this is the graph x-axis is the temperature y-axis is the density that means how, how close each water molecule they are together as you can see in here around 4 degrees the density is the highest, but after 4 degrees, when it forms a crystal lattice of the ice, the hydrogen bond will maximize the distance between each water molecule, then the density becomes 0.9, is uh, it is stable at that density. But in the liquid, as you can see that liquid has a relatively higher density than ice, that's why ice will be floating on the surface of the liquid. Exit phase is an important concept, it's like the last concept we'll cover. Um, water can dissociate, we call it dissociate or ionizes, uh, become hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Hydrogen ion contribute to become acid, hydroxide ion becomes uh, basic. I usually 
um, compare this exit phase as yin and yang in Chinese philosophy. We will know more about this later. You must have the balance of yin and yang, you must have balance of acid and base in order to have a neutral uh, molecule. So when you have acid and base together, then you will form neutral water. So neutral, you may think that our new neutrality is basically the balance between acid and base. So it's like Chinese philosophy. The harmony of the universe is based on the balance of yin and yang. The balance of acid and base form the neutral solution, neutral and bound. So acidic solution or acid, <coughs> it is when the uh, substance that releases hydrogen ion. We call it dissociate. An example is the famous hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, when it is dissolved in water, you, you will have you will dissociate in hydrogen ion and chloride ion. So where can you find hydrochloric acid in your body? Stomach, yes, our stomach um, makes a hydrochloric acid to help us for digestion. Base, base, they they call it a, a low hydrogen concentration. Um, it will release hydroxide ion. An example is sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, when it dissolves in water, it will become sodium ion and hydroxide ion. So the definition is that it will release hydroxide ion or take up hydrogen ion. Take up meaning that you will absorb the uh, acidic hydrogen ion. So the pH scale is something that you need to know. pH scale, remember, it is stuck from 0 to 14. 0 to 14. pH 7 is neutral. That means the concentration, the bracket means concentration. Concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to concentration of hydroxide ion. So when acid and base are about the same, then you have the neutral solution, pH 7. Acidic solution is all uh, is the pH less than seven. Alkaline is uh, or basic solution is the pH uh, higher than seven. So when you have more hydroxide ion than hydrogen ion, when you have more hydrogen ion, uh, more than the hydroxide ion is more acid. These are an example of our of what we see every day. Um, about the approximate pH value. Um, hydrochloric acid is very acidic, but actually it is only around pH, pH 1 or 2. It's not really zero. Our, our stomach acid is around 1 or 2. Um, what else? Oh, the one thing that I want to bring up that is important to you is human blood. But some of you want to become a nurse in your healthcare Deal. Human blood is not pH 7, it's not pH neutral. Human blood is actually a little bit basic. Uh, remember this pH value. Human blood is approximately pH um, 7.35 to 7.45. It is slightly basic. And then after we talk, and then buffer is something that is important when we talk about pH. Why is that? Because buffer is the chemical or combination of chemical that keep the pH within normal limit. Or my personal definition is that buffer is the solution that resists the changes of pH. It keep your pH at a certain level. An example is bicarbonate ion and carbonic acid, you can find it from the human blood. In human blood, we have a lot of bicarbonate ion and carbonic acid. The reason is these, they contribute to the property of human blood that resist the changes of the pH. You don't want your blood to change your pH easily because if the pH of your blood changes, it can cause seizure or it can cause coma.
Okay. Then um, what happens in our blood is that when when our blood becomes too acidic and we might have too much of the hydrogen ion, the bicarbonate ion will absorb the hydrogen ion to form carbonic acid. This is how um, our blood to neutralize acidic if we drink a lot of juice, for example. Uh, or no, actually, actually when you exercise too much, when you have accumulation of lactic acid in your body, then this is what happens in your blood. You try to neutralize it. And then what happens is that when you are too basic in your blood, then the hydroxide ion will neutralize the carbonic acid to form bicarbonate ion and water. So these properties, um, these are the properties of our blood to help to uh, keep our blood into a pure spiritual um, uh, uh, environment to keep our body uh, stable. So, okay, that's the end of the uh, online lecture. Thank you.